for those who are vulnerable, for lolas and lolas, for those with uh, you know comorbidities, uh, when you are given the opportunity, you should get a second booster. So my mom, my mom is 80 years old. So I, I advised her last month to go and get a second booster. And so she did in, in, our, in our hometown of Las Piñas. So for mm-hmm. those who are, you know, are weaker, it's better to get a second booster. But for most of us, we really should be boosted once for now. And maybe once we have the new boosters, which are Omicron specific, uh, they're called bivalent vaccines. They should arrive by the end of this year, early next year. Then we, we can reconsider uh, this question again. Actually, Father, that, that's what I meant to ask uh, Dr. Ranjin Solante last night in the Chiefs. Eh? Um, uh, would, would that be one way of looking at it, that uh, uh, BA.5 might actually be, I, mean, I don't know if I'm looking for a silver lining here, but uh, BA.5 might actually be, you know, uh, 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 I mean, uh, in, in the universe of uh, COVID-19 viruses, uh, <laughs> it might actually be the better variant, uh, sub-variant to, to get, if at all, because it's... Uh, Yes, it's it, it's uh, super infectious, but uh, it's not as bad as uh, the other ones. Well, well, think about it this way. Omicron, first of all, Omicron is better than anything that went before. it. So had Delta been dominant now, we would be in big trouble because that means that once mm-hmm. our immunity yeah. wanes, uh, we would be susceptible to, Omic- uh, to Delta, which is which is uh, quite severe. So it's a great blessing from the Lord that we have Omicron. And then within the Omicron's, Uh, You have a milder version. I mean, it's harder to really determine which is milder, but it's still (laughs) relatively mild compared to all of the others. And uh, so Omicron is protecting us right now from another Delta, from a Delta, right? So Delta is is pretty much out of the picture. And so we are, are, we've just completed our second round of animal studies in mice. And uh, we will have the data from that. Uh, in the next month or so. And what we're exploring now is really what the next steps are uh, in order to move this closer towards human trials. And um, I'm still, you know, I'm new in the Philippines with regards to science. So I'm talking to individuals in the uh, vaccine expert panel to try to figure out what data we need to present. Now, this is hopefully this will be the first vaccine developed in the Philippines for Filipinos. Father, are, are you developing uh, an Omicron-specific uh, yeah, vaccine? So we, we, already have, we already have the Omicron-specific version. It takes only a month for us to make a variant-specific version. So we have a BA oh. version, and we can probably uh, order a BA5 version. I probably should do that. Uh, so so uh, we have an Omicron version as well. So uh, just like this is the platform is easy to to tweak, right? So, um, but we have to get the data to support the platform in general, and that really is, like I said, it's it's um, it's it's a it's a first time, not only for me but for the Philippines.